So as published in the journal Science, as far as the brain's concerned, a reward's a reward, regardless of whether it comes from a chemical or an experience. And as Dr. Nestler said, natural addictions, he called, he used this word, natural addictions, not compulsions, not bad habits, not bad, uh, not weak moral uh, fiber, but addiction, a brain addiction, such as pathological overeating, pathological gambling, and sexual addictions. This is Eric Nessler, Journal of Neuroscience, or Nature of Neuroscience, 2005. So, and a, a word from Nora Volkow. Nora Volkow is the head of the National Institute of Drug Addiction and one of the most respected neuroscientists in the world. I dare say that if you mention the word addiction to anyone that knows anything about addiction research, they will know who Dr. Nestler is and Dr. Volkow. They will know those two names because these two are two of the most published scientists in the world. Now, whereas Dr. Nestler looks at mechanistic effects of brain cells with addiction, Dr. Volkow looks at brain scans. She looks at all those scans I showed you, she looks at things like that, looking at brain scans in human beings showing addiction. And she is a probably the world expert in that. And she was quoted just a couple of years ago in the journal Science. NIDA director Noel Volkow also felt her institute's name should encompass addictions such as pornography, gambling, and food. And she recommended changing the name of the NIDA to the National Institute, I'm going to get this right perfectly, but she said the National Institute for Addiction Research. Get rid of the word drug because she said it's, it's not just drugs, that natural addictions affect the brain the same way drugs do. So we need to look more at addiction as a disease. This is so just carry this away tonight. These, this is true science. And not all therapists are on board yet. Many are learning. But this is what the addiction brain people are now saying. Okay. And just briefly, uh, the, most, the, the oldest scientific journal in the world, this was started in the 1660s, the Royal Society of England. And last year, they published this report of a meeting on addiction, where they invited the top addiction scientists in the world to present 17 papers which they then published in, in their journal. This is the journal, The Neurobiology of Addiction, New Vistas. And yes, three of the papers were about natural addictions, not drug addictions. And guess what? Eric Nessler was there talking about it, as was Nora Volkow, another paper on pathological gambling, on brain changes with these things. Dr. Nessler talked about something really interesting. I'll spend just a couple of minutes on this. He said that Delta Phos B is a protein and he's studied this extensively, which we see exclusively in the brain cells of addicted animals when he studies them. In other words, if animals eat normally or have normal exercise called wheel running or sucrose drinking, you see other FOS chemicals in, the, in those brain cells, but you don't see this one. You only see this one in animals that have become addicted to their behavior. It's an addiction marker and probably an addiction um, an addiction uh, workhorse. We think it probably actually functions as well. It's not just lazy. It actually it probably helps the brain cell function negatively in addiction. Okay, what's interesting then is he started looking at natural addictions. You can see where I'm going with this. He looked at wheel running, not just the cocaine and the meth rats, which show delta phosphate. He looked at excessive wheel running rats, hyper sucrose drinking rats, and recently, just last year, hypersexual rats, and found that, yes, there's delta Phos B in those cells as well. I think, to me, this is the holy grail. This is absolute, okay, the jury's in, verdict's over. Not only do you have the scanning images we just saw, but now you have the brain cell, basic science model, with the world famous Dr. Nessler, incredible Dr. Nessler saying, there's Delta Phos B in those brain cells. That, that's pretty much it. And as he said, this powerful statement just published in 08, um, in, addiction, in addition to drugs of abuse, natural rewards induce Delta Phos B. Now, get the significance of this. When he says induce Delta Phos B, he means addiction, not compulsion, bad habit, weak moral fiber. He means addiction, true addiction. 
levels in the NAC, which is the nucleus accumbens. Remember that almond-sized area we talked about. That's NAC. Our results raise the possibility that delta FOSB induction in the nucleus accumbens may mediate not only key aspects of drug addiction, but also aspects of so-called natural addictions involving compulsive consumption of natural rewards. And Dr. Cowan Malink at Stanford in their landmark paper on the actual cellular mechanisms of addiction that occur Addiction represents a pathological yet powerful form of learning and memory, which then can chain the individual to the 